All right, hi guys. So, back again with another little video. Try and keep this one short and sweet. Uh, basically, we are going to set up our function menu button. So on the back of your camera, you've got the FN button, which is probably one of the most usable, usable um, buttons on your camera, other than the shutter. It's really handy to jump into a little menu that's basically got 20 options. It's up to you how you have them. But yeah, so if we go to the toolbox, which is down the bottom there, the yellow one, and you go in and go down to page three, and then we go into that one, then we go down to the FN menu settings. As we go into there, we now have control over the function menu. So creative look, we can go in there and we can change it to picture profile or whatever. I've got it on creative look because you never know, I might want to change it quickly one day. A bit of fun. Um, very rarely have I ever done it, but yeah, it's there. It may get swapped out for something else at some point. But um, then we've got my focus area. So I do actually have, if I'm using the uh, 200 or 600, my uh, 14 to 24 or the 135G Master, I have my side button pushing. That is the um, focus area. So I can quickly change that just by pushing one button on the side of the lens. We then have steady shot along the next one there. And basically to change anything, you just go in and pick something and you know it sticks. Uh, then we've got the recognition target. So we can uh, swap them about if we need to. Uh, and then we've got the focus mode. And then I've got variable shutter. So if we're in a fluorescent lit area or there's uh, even a TV, an older style TV, um, LED lighting, cheap ones, they flicker. So basically we can, we can actually adjust the shutter um, rate down to a fraction of a shutter speed as such. So basically it means we can go in between the um, flickers, so basically it gets rid of that. To be honest, I have never ever found a need for it. Uh, maybe on this camera, the A1 never needed it at all, um, but we'll see one day. It's there if I need it. Uh, shoot mode, so we can adjust the shoot mode, even though I've got custom buttons on the back there, but it's there. Uh, metering mode if I need to change that. Uh, subject recognition in autofocus, so uh, face recognition on or off, basically. Uh, silent mode, so basically if I want to turn the mechanical shutter off and I just want to shoot silently. Ideal for products. Um, in constant lit areas because you can't shoot this camera with no mechanical shutter and flash. Um, but then again, if you're shooting wildlife and stuff like that, you might want to um, photograph it in silent. Does actually work pretty well um, with uh, birds in flight and stuff, but I would probably stick to JPEGs if you are going to do it. There's a faster readout speed on the JPEGs rather than the um, RAWs. Uh, touch function in shooting, so basically just... Um, there we go, that's there. And white balance. So if I'm in the studio, I might want to change it. It's nice and easily found. And then when we go down to um, the <clears throat> function menu, but when we're set into our Flickr dial over to video, we have the format. So basically I can choose 4K, HD, whatever I need to be there. My SQ, uh, S and Q mode, so it's, uh, slow and quick, my slow motion basically up to 240 frames a second, I can pick my FPS, so frame rate. My microphone levels, if I'm using on in-camera mic. Um, follow function menu, so um, that's for photography side of things, not the video, but it's there. Um, auto framing, auto framing basically, if you've got a decent wide angle lens on or if you're far enough away um, and you're in shot, the camera will zoom in on you and will follow you around almost like the camera is moving. So, really clever, and I actually want to try this um, with a friend on her horse. If I can leave it in the corner and see if it tracks her. Be interesting to see. Uh, then we've got the face recognition on, and that one as well. Focus and the follow. Uh, crop level uh, size, and that's to do with the um, uh, that one there, the auto framing. It means we can crop in more aggressively if we need to, uh, automatically. And then the record uh, frame rate. So I would be like 120 frames a second for 4K, 240 frames a second for HD if I wanted, or, or 24 or 30 or whatever I want to do. So it's that easy to set up. You just click in and just pick something. It's simple as that. And you can put it anywhere you want uh, in there. So when you come to use it, basically now we just push FN and that's our uh, photography side of things. And then we go to video, and we push it again, and then we've got some 
other ones there. The other ones that are ghosted out are not necessarily on because certain things aren't necessarily turned on at the moment. So, uh, but as you can see here, if I go to um, 4K there, I can adjust it right down to HD or whatever. Um, my microphone levels, as you can see as I'm talking, you can now actually reduce that down. But I think 24, 25 is normal. Um, recognition, birds, planes, trains, and all that sort of stuff. But it shows me which one I'm in uh, when I look in there, which is that one. Um, AFC, which I leave the camera in 99% of the time. And my um, frame rate there, which at the moment is 120, 60, 24, 120. So it's a very, very, very handy uh, little function that you have and um, works really, really well. If you've got the touch screen turned on, you can actually swipe the screen from the right hand side um, or the bottom to bring up different menus now with the uh, thing, the FM button is from the bottom up. And uh, yeah, it just works really, really nicely. To be honest, most of the time for me, I turn the touch screen off. Um, unless I've got on a tripod and I'm doing something in particular, then I'll be touched to focus and stuff like that when in studio and things. Uh, but most of the time I've got the camera up to my face, so I don't necessarily need the touch screen. Uh, on so yeah that's it guys um let me know what you think anything you can't work out how to do there's a couple things i can't work out to do yet but getting through it slowly um let me know and uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button little notification bell as well and i'll see you